Okay, I feel like we have a lot of catching up to do. I'm actually embarrassed um about how long it's been but we not we'll, we'll get into that later i'm getting ready for work right now um i usually do my makeup in a car I don't know why it has honestly become a habit i enjoy it's like a little therapy session for me um i'll be doing my makeup in the car but i decided i don't know something got in me today and i was like you know what i need to sit down in front of the camera i feel like every day i make excuses oh i don't know my tripod is not big enough it's not flexible so it can't hold on to things or i don't have anything i could put it in my car or my hair is not done or um I don't know my face is breaking out or I'm not doing anything this week so what do I need to be filming or I don't like the space that I'm in like it's so many excuses that I have been giving and I realize like what am I even doing like what am I doing this past week I'm drinking um what is this coconut water like hash fruit coconut water and guava juice by the way this past week I've just been like re-watching my videos and just like thinking about all the ideas that I've had within the past like honestly since since I've been 16 like since I was 16 all the ideas that I've had all the passions that I've pursued all the skills and talents that I've accumulated but haven't been consistent with any of them the only thing I've been consistent in is getting dressed for vods and going to work <laughs> getting dressed to go be in the club like i feel like that's the only thing i've been consistent with and of course school i be mean, i don't give myself enough credit for actually completing school um and that was like literally my biggest hindrance or i thought it was a hindrance at the time but i just i just be feeling like if i was to be consistent with something like just one of the things that i started with like who knows where i would be from now even I remember one summer I was detailing cars. I had no interest on becoming a professional car detailer. I was literally just doing it as a way to make money. And uh, I was just thinking the other day, like, damn, what if I really would have started taking detailing cars seriously? Like, would I have had a space right now? Would I have niggas cleaning cars? Because obviously by this point I wouldn't be doing it anymore. But, you know, just little things like that. Like, I wrote something. Let me go get it. So this is from For the Mental. I don't know if Michaela is still selling these, but yeah, get you one anyways um okay so it says perfectionism is ruining my life i'm focusing too much on getting things right which leads to procrastination i'm forever grateful and i thank god every day for my talents but how am i proving to him that i want to grow without putting them to use i'm now accepting the imperfect the fuck-ups the mistakes the accidents the flaws the uncomfort everything that brings fear by accepting the imperfect i'm allowing growth faith and prosperity into my life this season will be filled with lessons that will move forward. Lessons I've learned with being imperfect. Lessons that will allow me to perfect only what I can. I wrote this September 2nd. Um, yeah, and since then I've just been thinking like, damn, Missy, what's the matter? Missy is crying, guys. Give me a second. So I had to cater to my dog and make space on my camera. I kind of lost my train of thought, but I was re-watching some of my videos, my previous videos, and I was just thinking, like, I didn't have all of these excuses. Like, I didn't have, oh, I didn't have a camera, or I didn't have this, I didn't have that. Like, I used what the hell I had. And it's like, I buy these things, even the slide, like, I bought this slide. I don't even think I've ever filmed with this slide before. I think the Bottle Girl video I filmed, like, two, I've only used it once, basically. Like, bought the light, only used it once. I more so use it for like other people like you know when I'm doing stuff for other people and that's kind of been an issue of mine too let's just let's just get into it <laughs> that I've noticed has been an issue of mine too like just catering to other people and not putting myself first like I have been working with some amazing people and I'm just realizing like everyone's intention is just not the same and that's not a bad thing like everyone's intention is honestly not supposed to be the same but I'm just noticing like the time and the effort that I put into them I could be putting into myself I could be putting into my ideas you know what I'm saying like into the things that I actually have going on not even the things that I have going on because I'm not even working towards it because I'm working with all these other people you know what I'm saying like 
And I thought like, okay, well maybe I just need to give myself to other people. Like maybe that's my purpose. Maybe my purpose is to help other brands and help artists and stuff like that, which I feel like it still can be, but you still have to put effort into yourself. You know, and I'm saying you as in like me, like I'm talking to me. This whole video is me talking to myself, but it's like, bro, how, how do I expect people to see the work that I can do if I'm not doing the work? How can people see my talents if I'm not showcasing it? I'm just going to be sitting there trying to sell something that doesn't have any proof. There's no proof to the pudding. <laughs> There's literally no proof to the pudding, so I don't know. That's just kind of where I've been. But nevertheless, first step to everything is always self-awareness. First step to everything is always self-accountability. So I have already accepted, like, not even accepted, but I've acknowledged, like, what's going on. I've acknowledged, okay, these are, these are the things that, like, you need to fix. These are the things you need to work on. These are the things that you're passionate about that you're not chasing for real, like, you know? These are the areas that you want to be in, but you're not putting yourself in these spaces. I have noticed that I've been literally given things that I've asked God for and I didn't trust myself enough in the moment to chase it or to even obtain it. So I didn't and I let it slide. Like this past year, it's been a few things in so many different aspects <laughs> that I've literally asked for something, got it. And I was like, mm, nah. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but that's actually sick. Like, that is so sick, bro. Like, who does that? Like, what? How can you ask God for something and when he gives it to you, you're just a little ungrateful brat? Like, eventually he's going to stop giving you stuff. <laughs> and I really just had to be for real with myself and tell myself that, like, okay, I have to start realizing, like, God has given me all the things that I asked for. I'm just not taking it. I'm not accepting it. I'm putting myself in these rooms sometimes and not all the times, you know? Like, I'm taking chances sometimes and not all times. When he's giving me these opportunities all the time. So, I feel like that's that. But, I feel like we kind of need to catch up because... I don't know I have definitely been starting like a little series that I also have not been consistent with um, like becoming a creative director which is a series that I really like and it's really fun to do too um, but I feel like I need to kind of explain how we got to there from graduation let, us, let me finish my base and I'll come back <laughs> Okay, so let's rewind to December of 2022. I graduated Savannah State University, the illustrious Savannah State University. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but my major was in public relations and advertising. I've interned, um, I've done like a bunch of different things in my field, whatever. So after graduation, I got a job like a month after um, working in corporate sales. I was a recruiter for a company. I'm not going to say the name of the company. <laughs> but I was a recruiter for a pretty big staffing agency. Um, and I worked in their digital office. So I did that for 10 months. And that job was very interesting nevertheless. <laughs> it taught me a lot about just like life. Um, it taught me a lot about like the corporate world and stuff. It taught me a lot about how to run meetings. Like one thing about that job, they trained the crap out of you. Like we trained all the time. Even when we weren't training, we were training. Like every day we had to do like role plays and stuff like that. Like we were always trying to better our sales skills and better the way we presented the services that we offered and stuff like that. So that's one thing I would say. They really did train their employees. So with that, I was able to take the things that I've learned there and apply it to like the things that I'm doing now and in other jobs and stuff like that. So I was working there for 10 months. Um, the commute was shit. Guys, my camera just overheated and I had to turn it off for a few minutes. So honestly, this would be the time where I would stop recording, but this is 
literally it's all a test and i'm learning that i'm being tested in so many different ways and i just have to pass the test so anyway like i was saying <laughs> i was working that job and there was a lot of cons or there was a lot of pros um but i just felt like the cons outweighed the pros and the most important part was that i was doing something that i didn't love and i was not passionate about and had no creative aspect in it whatsoever and required all of my time and wasn't making me money and the commute was just like bad so let's see let's just fast forward to where i'm at now like fuck everything else today it's like october 4th um i am heading to go to work I actually recently applied, not recently, I applied all the way back in July, but I recently got the job <laughs> um, to be a substitute teacher. So I'm so excited um, because I get to make my own schedule. And that was honestly one of the biggest, there's a few promises I made to myself when I quit my job because I was very scared. Like I'd be sitting here in line if I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna quit my job. I was thinking about quitting my job for like, four months prior to when I did it I was like I'm gonna get promoted first then quit or I'm gonna because I was training to like um basically get promoted I was like all right I'm gonna get promoted and then quit I was like mm, I'm gonna wait till this happens and then quit or I'm gonna wait till this and it was just like one day you know the situation was going on in my car and it's like everything really happens for a reason because I didn't have a choice but to quit when they said what they said to me so I had to get up out of there um but yeah so a few promises I made to myself when I did quit that job was that number one I'm going to create my own schedule and I know that sounds like very bratty and it's not always possible. Like I don't literally create my own schedule now, but I don't ever want to put myself in a position to where I'm tied down to something that I'm not interested in Monday through Friday, nine to five, eight to five, six to six, basically is what I was working at that place, six to six. Um, you know, so it's like, that was one of the promises I made to myself. I did not spend four years in college picking up a degree that I was genuinely interested in to sit somewhere for 40 hours a week, 40 plus hours a week, and I wasn't interested in it or it didn't bring me like any happiness or value. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the things that I promised to myself um, when I did that. Um, another thing is that I never wanted to become too obligated or I never wanted to give somebody else. What am I trying to say? I don't want to give someone else too much of my time and not myself first. Where I feel like I think now that's where I'm feeling so much guilt. Because I'm not going to hold y'all. I be feeling like I do nothing. Like I literally just go to work and that's it. But it's like I feel like I be at work all the time. Or at one point I was at work all the time. Because I was training to be a manager there. And that's where I started to realize. Okay I'm giving a lot of people too much of me. Like how did I work this place in college knowing that it was going to be a side hustle and find a job quit the job come here and now i'm trying to manage a place like <laughs> make it make sense i'm just giving all these other spaces too much of my time um and i'm not doing the same thing for myself and that is that's just where i'm having like the biggest i don't know i guess guilt lately but i gotta fix it or i am working to fix it that's the that's the whole point of this little conversation is that i've realized okay i am the problem <laughs> okay it's not my circumstances it's not my environment it's not anything it's me i literally have all the resources and all the tools that i need i'm just not applying myself so as far as like me working to be a creative director that hasn't changed i mean like i literally have what over four years of experience in doing this now because i've worked i think the the way i like realize this is what i wanted to do is i literally just combined all the skills that i had <laughs> i combined my writing skills i combined my musical background i combined that with like my pr experience i've combined that with my graphic design experience my um eye for photography i don't have any photography but my eye I, I have a good ass eye i have good taste so i realized like okay i don't have to limit myself to just one thing in pr i could just do everything so that's kind of um what i've been doing with that and as you guys know nandy makes music and 
we've been close friends like since college so that's another thing that i'm realized i literally just realized like last week how privileged i am to be able to perfect my talents and my skills with people that i know people that trust me people that love me people that will allow me to push myself or better yet push me to doing things that i'm not comfortable doing to really like build on these skills like i'm not in an environment like how i was when i was interning where i'm around all these big ass artists and working at these big ass labels with me in this space where i feel like i couldn't really add value and now i'm working with people that see the value in me and i didn't realize how much of a privilege that was until i was having a conversation with my friend like i'm i'm like genuinely blessed to be able to build these skills right now with people that I know with my friends like literally with my friends I couldn't have a big ass artist as a client right now because I don't have those skills yet I don't even have like faith in myself that I could fulfill whatever it is that they asking me to do and that's like the biggest problem so I am just so grateful that I'm able to like build these skills and learn things from people within my circle and stuff like that so with that I've been working with Nandy. I've also been working with uh, this other artist. Excuse me, guys. This, every time I do my makeup, it just be shit in my eye. But yeah, like, I've been privileged enough to be able to work with people that, you know, will just push me to be a me. The same way that I can push them, you know? And I'm still, like, putting myself in spaces. Like, I am also the manager at Broom Studios here in Atlanta. Um, and that was the opportunity that I got myself. Like, I didn't need my mentor or nothing like that. I literally saw that they were hiring. I reached out, boom, got the opportunity. So, you know, just stuff like that, putting myself out. But I think that I be wanting things to happen too quick for me. And that's my problem. Like, I be wanting to do something one day and the next day, like, I'm just a millionaire. And it just, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> and I be having to remind myself, like... It doesn't work like that. Like, you have to chill. You actually have to sit down and live in the moment. Live in the things that you ask God for. Like, I literally ask God to be here when I quit my job. When I quit my job in December, I ask God to be in the space that I'm in today. And I'm rushing to be in the next space. Like, damn. <laughs> Can you relax? <laughs> Can you vibe? So, lately, I've definitely, unfortunately, been living in a space of, like, ungratefulness which is I, I just want to get out of that you know like i'm very grateful i'm so grateful for all the things that god's given me like i can't even imagine like not being who i am so why would i even ask for anything else because anything else would be beyond me it wouldn't be me you know what time is it it is almost nine o'clock um so i need to finish this up now but let's see today i actually went on a meeting with a new artist that reached out to me and that's even stuff like this like people are reaching out to me i don't even put my stuff out how i should i'm not even i'm not even i'm i am not even creating things and putting it out there for people to see for people to see the talent within me for people to see what i'm worth like <laughs> This is insane and I'm here questioning myself like strangers are not questioning me but I'm here questioning myself so moving forward with that I want to be just consistent in everything like I want to be consistent in the gym oh my god I even started working out this year like going to the gym working out not working out once every six months <laughs> like actually going to the gym and i haven't been to the gym consistently in like a month no cap honestly it's probably going on two now i have not been to the gym consistently and it's like bro i was doing so good like i was literally doing so good and i just stopped being consistent it's like consistency my perfectionism is causing procrastination which is causing me to be comfortable which is causing me to not be consistent. I think that's exactly what it is. Everything just leads back to me trying to be this little perfectionist. And it's like, what? Nothing is perfect. I actually don't. Everything is perfect. Because this is how God wanted it to be. <laughs> so actually, yeah. Everything is perfect. But I just, moving forward, I'm realizing like, yeah, I have to, I have to actually apply myself. That's literally all it is, is applying myself. I'm not applying myself. I'm being lazy and I'm being like, just 
too comfortable like i'm too comfortable waking up and doing the same things and comfortable in the space that i'm in and you know i'm just too comfortable and i'm noticing like oh yeah god is he's getting ready to shake some shit for real. <laughs> like and i'm excited and i'm prepared I think that's what's most important. I don't think I would have been prepared um, a year ago or even like the beginning of this year. I don't think I would have been prepared, but I think now I'm in a space where like I'm prepared. I'm, I am living comfortably in fear. I don't know what I've been so afraid of. I don't know what I was hiding from. Um, and I don't even know what exactly this next chapter of my life is gonna look like. I don't even know what it is that i'm asking for i think i'm just asking for my faith again you know just to be like hopeful within myself and like everything it is that i want to achieve because there hasn't been much that i wanted to achieve and i didn't and i'd be having to remind myself that like i literally get everything that i work for as long as i work hard enough i get it because it's something that I want and I always work towards it. But I'm just not working towards things that I really want for real anymore. And I don't know why. I don't know why I've gotten just so comfortable. But listen, I am in a space now where I think I'm already knowing like what's up. <laughs> like I don't even know how else to explain it. Like I already know what's up. The only thing that I'm missing out is me. Like I have everything that I need bro. The way things just be like aligning for me is insane. I like to remind myself that these videos are like 90% for me and 10% for an audience. But if you actually sat down and listened to me rant, um, I appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that other shit. But really, this is for future me so I can go back and watch myself and be like, okay, this is where I was at. And you know, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, the whole goal here gold the whole goal here is just to acknowledge like okay i have been lacking in the consistency department in all aspects of my life um i have been getting too comfortable with the things that i worked for in the past and i've been too afraid to reach out and work for other things because it's been too hard or they've been too uncomfortable like even this video my freaking camera kept overheating because of the settings that i had it on my dog kept just like being all over the place. So many things that would have originally had me just be like, you know what? It's not meant to happen today. But no, it was meant to happen today because if this shit don't happen today, I'm not going to make it happen tomorrow. And if it don't happen tomorrow, it's not going to happen next week. If it happens next week, it's not going to happen next month. So, yeah. I think my frontal, what is it? Your frontal lobe? I think my little frontal lobe is developing or whatever since I'm like 24 now. <laughs> yeah per usual just thanks so much for watching especially since i don't be on here all the time so if you're somebody that has like came back which usually just be my friend so hey girl um you probably already know all of the tea and stuff like that but thanks for still listening on youtube <laughs> anyway i used to go to work because it's already nine o'clock on the dot oh and also i even changed my lock screen this probably might make me cry i changed my lock screen to younger me like literally i did this like a week ago um i was actually watching hey like hayley gamba's video and she inspired me to do it but i changed it as myself and every time i look at it 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 just motivates me every single day like i cannot look at this i don't have any kids um and my dog is a dog and she doesn't really require much from me except from like love and attention but when i look at this I want y'all to see for real. Hold on. When I look at this, I just want to do so much for this little girl. Like, when I look at... And then it's me holding the Bratz doll and braiding her hair. Yasmin used to be my favorite. When I look at this picture, it just makes me, like, want to get up and do everything that I have in my head to do. Because that's what little me wanted. Like, little me just couldn't wait to be... 16 so she can hang out with her friends and be on the cheerleading team and when I turned 16 I got friends and on a cheerleading team and I was a cheerleader <laughs> Like little me couldn't wait to like play the violin and play an instrument and I started playing them up the, the freaking violin <laughs> Okay, like little me couldn't wait to get a job and drive a car with a sunroof and literally the universe put a car with the sunroof in my life and as soon as I was able to turn 16 and get a job I got a job 
you know what I'm saying so yeah this is just something that I've done I don't know if you do it if it'll help but I made my lock screen the younger version of myself my favorite younger version of myself I think you can do it if you're older and you want to do it like when you was 16 or when you was 12 when you was 10 I think I was four here but this is when like I, I started to re like remember memories like <laughs> during this time I don't remember anything before this but during this time it's like I remember everything and life was just so beautiful and like I felt like I can do anything and I did everything I wanted to do and I just have to continuously do everything I want to do because I have proven to myself time after time after time that I can do everything I set my mind to everything that I've applied for and genuinely wanted and when God wanted it for me too I received it so I just have to continuously want to do the same thing for myself I think lately I've been in a space where I just didn't want that because I was too comfortable and I'm not comfortable anymore I'm uncomfortable uncomfortable as fuck actually so it's time to shake some shit it's time to shift the plot anyway thank you guys for watching bye <laughs>